I've been covering Xbox Game Pass exclusively for a while, and no month has been bigger than this September 2023. Today, we have a list of amazing games coming. I'm Sonny, your host at Xbox Central. Let's go ahead and kick this off with Starfield, and this is set to launch here on the 6th for those who don't have the premium edition like myself. But Starfield has us taking on the role of an explorer traveling the galaxy fueled by your ambitions, whether that's going to be for greed or for good. And you'll be exploring a vast open world with tons of planets to explore, discovering new locations, finding new missions and people to engage with. And with a game like this from Bethesda, of course, you're getting missions that are going to come with choices. You'll be able to persuade, steal, lie, bribe, intimidate, or fight for good. And the game is sci-fi. You're going to have futuristic weapons and combat dogfights out in space. You'll even be pirating and taking out ships and boarding them to take them over. Not only that, but the ships you get are fully customizable. There's even base building, and the main quest of the game reportedly can take up to 40 hours of alone some have even spent up to 60 and that's just the main quest not all the missions that you can do left and right starfield has the potential to not only give you hundreds of hours but maybe even in the thousands with overall great reviews by a ton of publications this is by far the biggest game pass game to drop as a day one release one that in my opinion should not be missed and it fully lands on consoles cloud and pc on september 6. let's go ahead though and jump to our next game which is solar ash here you play as ray a void runner determined to stop at nothing from saving her planet from the evil that's engulfing it. From the creators of the award-winning Hyper Light Drifter, this high-speed gravity bending game will take you on a ride that's typically more fast-paced than the average platformer. Not only that, you'll be going up against grotesque creatures and featuring some pretty big boss fights as well. And overall, the game doesn't take too long to beat, with about six hours if you just do the main story without any sort of exploration. And with its stylized visuals and fast and fluid platforming and gameplay, Solar Ash is a good one when it lands on September 14th on consoles, cloud, and PC. So we have a new Soulsborne game in Lies of P. This is set to come on Game Pass this September 19th, but despite playing the character Pinocchio, this game's gonna be no fairy tale. This is a dark fantasy story of the beloved character set in a steampunk version. Now as Pinocchio, you will be exploring the city of Krat. This was once a beautiful city, but it's now been poisoned by madness and bloodlust, and you'll be exploring the city and facing off against some really brutal and dark creatures. Now as I said, this is a Souls-like title, so combat is going to be fast-paced, aggressive, and typically unforgiving. The story comes in with an intricate branching storyline, and the mechanic of you telling the truth or lying is going to be a big part of Lies of P. This game is set to launch on Game Pass on September 19th. If you guys are enjoying this video, I would encourage you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, as we have some big videos coming. And if you guys are looking for a new and fun multiplayer title on Game Pass, Party Animals should be a good one. This is a physics-based game where you play as a variety of different animals and essentially you're going to be just beating up your friends. The game features a variety of game modes including Last Stand, Team Score, and Arcade. It's a great game to play with your friends and family for a good laugh and should be a good one when it drops especially just in time for the holidays. That's when I go ahead and I break out all these party games. Party Animals lands on Game Pass on September 20th. Now the much anticipated sequel Payday 3 is going to be coming and for those who don't know what this is, this is a first person shooter that takes you back to the world of epic heists and high octane battles in a title in which the name of the game is really all about your criminal escapades as you rob banks with your crew of four whether that's solo and you with three computer players or you and three other players you're going to engage in jewelry store heists nail biting assassinations and of course my personal favorite where i've spent hundreds of hours in payday 2 that's performing solo stealth robberies where you take the loot and you never get caught without a trace otherwise most of the criminal activities in this game is going to be you and your gang going all out against the cops in some of the most fun mindless gunplay you'll ever experience all the while of course securing that bag of cash loot or whatever you and your team are trying to rob payday 3 is set to launch on game pass on september 21st so coming from the creator of the highly acclaimed titles limbo and inside and coming as a day one game pass release is the game cocoon this is an upcoming action adventure puzzle game with a unique mechanic where the world exists on an orb and you'll be carrying that on your back you'll also have to kind of manipulate this by leaping between worlds and then combining them and rearranging them to solve puzzles. Essentially, you're in a world within worlds controlling and unraveling a cosmic mystery. Each orb has an ability that gets unlocked that helps you discover new pathways and objectives. But of course, a lot of these orbs are also protected by some major guardians trying to stop you at every turn. If you guys are a big fan of puzzle games and you're kind of loving a unique twist on them, I think this is going to be a good one. A potential indie sleeper hit of the year, perhaps, when it lands on the 29th of September on Game 
Game Pass. And with that, we have some games that recently launched on Game Pass as Stealth Drops, and I wanted to highlight them because these are some pretty good ones, starting with Age of Empires 4 Anniversary Edition. This has been ported over to Xbox to include a better UI for console users, including native support with Xbox controllers, also comes with 4K visuals. Now, the game itself is coming in with brand new civilizations, new maps, and new scenarios. If you guys are a big fan of strategy titles, the Age of Empires series is continuing to be a good one, and with it set to play really well on consoles, this is one I can definitely recommend. This is available via the cloud as well. And now, another strategy game that it's made its way onto Game Pass recently is Humankind. This game is very much inspired by the Civilization series, only with this game, we can completely rewrite the course of history, giving birth to new civilizations and exploring old ones like never before, featuring several different eras of mankind, including Neolithic, Ancient, and Medieval, and Classical times. The game packs a lot of things we've kind of come to love with strategy titles, with the freedom of customization as well that spans over the cultures and the maps. There's over 60 cultures to choose from, and of course, there's building cities, engaging in epic battles, and influencing the entire world. You really have the power to shape the game in any way you want or otherwise follow the course of history like it always has been and see where you are compared to today where you are in the game. And this is going all the way up to things like being even the first human to land on the moon. Humankind is available on consoles and the cloud. Now, Call of the Wild, the angler is available via Game Pass. This is an open world fishing expedition. And well, what's there to say about a game like this? You'll be traversing real life locations and navigating environments with boats, off-road vehicles, or just plainly going on foot to ponds, lakes, or wherever the fish might actually be biting, all the while trying to master the art of fishing using some of the most up-to-date fishing techniques available while using some of the most sophisticated fishing equipment available. If you can't tell, this is a game for those fishing enthusiasts who just love the relaxing nature of fishing itself and want to experience that in a video game. One cool aspect of this game is you can play solo or you can go all out completely with multiplayer with up to 12 players total. This is available on consoles and PC. The game Gris also launched today as well. This is making its return to Game Pass. This is about a young girl dealing with a painful experience in her life and the story of the game is told through the visuals and the gameplay. This is a puzzle platformer that takes about four hours to complete so it's a nice short game that's been beloved since it launched all the way back in 2018 with thousands of positive user reviews. This is playable on the cloud, console, and PC. All right with that guys we did get some games coming in the future I wanted to highlight quickly. Steam World Build is coming December 1st to Game Pass. This has you escaping a dying planet but you must build a mining town to find the tech that will save the people. You'll of course be managing the citizens, trading, and you'll be doing a lot more. This comes on December 1st. The newest Dungeon 4 makes its way onto Game Pass this November 9th. Of course, here you'll be building your evil dungeon to remind the good people that their nonsense won't be tolerated as you unleash your creatures, but also defend your own dungeon with traps and the sorts to stop them from stopping you as you make sure the forces of evil will absolutely overcome the forces of good. It's a good one. Pigeon Simulator also sees its Game Pass debut in 2024. Here you're a pigeon. Your job's to poop on people, destroy things, and I guess save the world. I gotta say, this one looks fun. I can't wait for this one. Citizen Sleeper 2 also lands on Game Pass. This is the sequel to the first. You'll of course be getting a ship, finding a crew, and keeping it all together as you build your life among the stars. Finally, we have the games leaving Game Pass, and boy, these are some big hitters leaving like Civilization 6 and some other good ones. It's gonna suck a little bit there. Big bummer, you do have that 20% discount. These will be leaving on September 15th. As always though, if you guys want to know the 30 best upcoming Game Pass games, we're talking big AAA titles like that video on the screen.